up guys? Nick here with a brand new unboxing video. I was planning on getting these two games like two weeks ago whenever I'm like, hey, I forgot these two games. They're exclusive to the PlayStation 4 and they're basically made by the same people, I think. Kinda. A little bit. Developer-wise. But, let's show what they are first. First game, One Piece. Pirate Heroes... Part Warriors 3. Now, I look at this dude on the front that's next to Luffy. He looks like Sanji to me, but he's not. Is he? He might be. I don't think he is. I don't know. But, this game's interesting, because they say it goes from the beginning of the story to where they are now in the manga. The manga. So, I have a lot of catching up to do. All right. Jump into the world of One Piece. <laughs> That's it. Uh, live the saga from the beginning. Battle through the series' major arcs from Windmill Village through Punk Hazard and beyond. One to two players on the same console. 12 gigabyte minimum, which isn't bad. Actually, that'd be fantastic if it was only 12. Uh, one to two players online. Yes, there is online play and control. Rated T for teen, crude humor, mild language, suggestive themes, and use of alcohol. Pirates, no shit. Alcohol. Duh. But I'm looking forward to playing this. I wanted to play actually the last two, but I did not know they were didn't know they existed until recently. <laughs> that's that's bad on my part. Now no, there's no plastic and all that stuff. There's just little sticky circles. I assure you, it's new. I bought it new. It was their, it was their last copy. So, And inside we have the game case, which is basically Luffy and what's his name with the dude. Looks like he has the sign in his mouth. So, definitely going to play this. Probably going to play this one first. Because I'm a one, I like One Piece. You know, I don't know everything about it. I know from where it's at now in America, where Cartoon or tsunami showing, which is right after they get uh, uh, Frankie on the crew to back. From that on, no idea. Alright, the second game is another game that was brought to my attention by Bud. Um, like, I saw commercials for it before that, but he brought it to my attention, like, you know, that could be an interesting game to play, you should get it. You know, it's on uh, Sky or not Skype, it's on uh, Steam and everything, but I'm like, you know what, it's, it'll be on PS4, why not? So, the game is called Dragon Quest Heroes, The World's Tree Woe and the Blight Below. Really? Blight Below? Meh. Okay, so I've never played any of the main games. I played only the Dragon Quest Monster games. Or Dragon Warrior Monsters, whatever. Dragon Warrior Monsters. Those are the only ones I've played. I've not played any of the Dragon Quest games. This one's supposed to be basically... Just like One Piece. It, you know, free-for-all fighting, using magic, all that stuff. Yeah, but I see a cat right there. It's Delta Cat, actually. He's just thinking about it. Anyway. The characters that are in the game that you can play as, there's 12 of them, I believe is what they said. It doesn't say on the back, does it? No. But... You can play the main 12 of the main games, or 12 of the main, 12 main characters from the previous games, into this. Now, the boss battles are different. They're not like, just wail on him for a while and he's dead. You have to use strategy, which, great. But, let's see the back. A horde of monsters draws near. Day 1 edition bonus content. It includes in-game slime weapons. Don't know why. Heroes! As the legendary Dragon Quest heroes take up the fight and restore order to the kingdom of Arba. Battles! Battle hundreds of monsters and slicing swords, sizzling spells, and slimes? Yeah, there's actually like a slime dude that me on your team. Monsters! Drive back the monster horde. Triumph over gigantic beasts and epic la clashes. It says lashes there for a second. I'm like, what? Is one player only, no online play, which, which is kind of surprising. Why not? You have 12 people to choose from. Why not? One player, minimum of 26 gigabytes, which you can't really take these to heart. 
Most of them are like even. Most of them are lower. Uh, Ready T for teen, fantasy violence, mild blood, and mild suggestive themes. Now I'm looking forward to playing this one also because it's also a. Uh, it's basically a hack and slash RPG game where you can level up your character, give them new spells and stuff like that, which I find very interesting because. I'll probably level the hell out of my characters. To be all honest. Now, if it if it has the same battle style as like Warrior game, the Dynasty Warriors games, but the traveling as Dragon Quest, that would also be cool. Okay, that it gives you a little like code thing for the slime weapon. Oh my God, what is this? What? Is this a poster? It's a poster. Huh. It gives you like a little poster of how all the people control. Yeah. A little post. I think one side is Spanish, yeah. So this is the English side, which you can't really see most of it. It just shows you all the uh, people and how do they fight and everything. I'll probably end up playing as probably uh, Lucius. Like they said that Lucius and Aurora are the main two people. Yeah. Yeah, it gives you strategies on how to play as them. Oh, dude, I, call, I saw cold. I'm like, yep, yep. Yeah, they have different... They have like four or five different abilities and stuff like that. It's probably starting abilities. But it looks interesting. I look, I'll look. i definitely look forward to playing this. But thank you all for watching this unboxing video. Hope you enjoyed my rambling on some of the games. Oh, never showed it. <laughs> That's the game. <laughs> I never did show that. Whoops. Here's how I show it. But thank you all for watching this episode. Catch you next time. Probably uh, some more Pokemon. Um, not this coming week, but the week after. I'll have more time to record, which, like, a couple days. So I might try and finish Castlevania then. Uh, try and rope Bud into it if he'll, if he'll join. Hopefully he'll help me out, you know, please. But, anyway, thank you all for watching. Peace.